Good morning guys! Today I am going to clean my house with all natural homemade cleaners that are way cheaper than the store bought ones and it's better for our health. We got lots of sunshine, that means I see more dirt. <laughs> Joa just fixed these tables, they were at the barn <laughs> since we moved in and he fixed the legs and I just did a little bit of a changes in this room. Mixing this all-purpose cleaner, it's so easy, it's very fast and I can play around with the oils. So it depends on my mood, sometimes I like to use the raspberry essential oil and sometimes the mango and sometimes I like to use some flower scent as, and that's usually on the springtime and on the summertime more like the citrus smell that I like. If it's a hot day, maybe a mint. You can just adjust to your like. Most of the time I like to use dish soap and vinegar mixture and I like to use this in the sinks and in the tub and it just works really nicely. And I have heard that they can cancel out each other, the vinegar and the dish soap, but honestly I haven't experienced any negative side of it. It's been working really nice because the vinegar helps with the hard water and the dish soap just dissolves all the grease. So to me, it's been working very nicely. I bought this is a brand new <laughs> that is a silicone one it holds less bacteria and I really like that that I can attach this to the wall so it won't be on the floor however I was thinking will it be easy to remove that it seems like it's uh, I mean it's got holes in there so the liquid will dropping in here which would be fine if I can easily open this, but I can't. Oh, maybe I shouldn't push it back all the way, maybe. 
So do I want to line this with something or just carefully put that back? We'll see. Okay, let's see. Where should I put that? Yeah, let's put that there. Okay. I hope it will hold, but I just put it down on the side over there. Hopefully it stays there. <laughs> so let's see how does it work. Ooh, okay. This is actually really neat. So the reason I bought this one, I really like the shape, so it will be easier to brush it under the rim. So, we'll see. Some people question my vacuum cleaner with this small head <laughs> but it's been a very odd vacuum cleaner I mean I bought this even before I had my kids <laughs> and it's been working really nicely but the head part is broken so I'm just um, <laughs> I just set up my system with that uh, whatever I have and eventually down on the road maybe I'm going to buy a new vacuum cleaner but until it lasts I want to use that because I love this so much and I like that small head on the vacuum cleaner because I can get into those little corners and behind uh, to a lot of places and I like to pair it with my dry mop and that cleans the floor very quick
hardest to keep up is is the kitchen hands down <laughs> i'm cooking a lot we are eating a lot so this is the area where i i have the <laughs> most work and i want to know what is your biggest struggle which area is where you have to clean the most to me hands down that's the kitchen the living room is so easy we have just a very few items there just an everyday items like the laptop and books that we read that's where we relax bedrooms are okay too but the kitchen it's something that is something <laughs> but it's really comforting me to know that my family loves the food that i make and they love to eat and they do eat a lot <laughs> To clean the pantry I like to pick a side per week so that way I'm able to keep up with that and it's not overwhelming just one side it goes very quick like in five or seven minutes I was done. I made a few changes in the living room as well so I took down those shelves that we put up not a long time ago but honestly it didn't work out as well because we don't have that much of a knickknack to put out so I didn't have that many things to put there and I ended up just using this mirror just to decorate with that and I also moved the couch and I didn't want to do that because we have a very narrow space where we can walk by but I wanted to give a shot I got some comments I should try it so I did <laughs> and so far we like it because we can see the fireplace so we will see how long we're going to keep it that way but for now we like it this peanuts online because at the store they like to use canola oil which causes inflammation and I really like this one this is a raw I think this is a very really nice one and I'm drooling already <laughs> and it tastes different what I actually find with this peanuts and why I know it is better than what I buy in the store because it doesn't cause any problem for me so usually other peanuts causing inflammation headaches and all sorts of things and I think it's because they usually use canola oil but if I make it at home I can eat it without any problem so 
and it tastes so much better. I cannot tell you how good it tastes. A little bit of a flower and a little bit of a snack will make it more welcoming the kitchen. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed that don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye!